In this challenge, bartenders have been asked to create a tasty Johnny Walker highball that reflects the culture and flavors of their home city. All bartenders have supplied a bespoke non-alcoholic cordial for the Avatar bartender to recreate their serve using specific ratios and the drink mate carbonation system. Bartenders have also created a one minute video explaining their concept, as well as a design overlay for the drink mate machine that reflects their serve. The judges are scoring on taste and balance, innovation, as well as the description of the serve and the drink mate design. Let's explore 50 new cities through the lens of a Johnny Walker highball. It's time to meet our first bartender of the 2021 competition. How exciting. First up is Rowan Matmarie from India. Rowan began his career in the industry as a junior bartender on a campus where he lived. Now, after eight years in the industry, Rowan has developed his knowledge exponentially, refining his skills and learning from the best bartenders. He recently moved to New Delhi, where he manages the beverage program for two of the best bars in the country. How do you capture the flavors of a hidden city in a glass? I started with the quintessential citrus, lemon peels, the ancient coolant sandalwood from the thick forests of Karnataka, and coffee, a 400-year-old legacy of producing every morning's perfect brew. The epitome of blended scotch whiskies, Johnny Walker Black Label, combined with the magnificent flavors of my hometown, Karnataka. Flawlessly carbonated to perfection, creating a harmonious balance, just like the first brew of every morning. Celebrate Karnataka with the Filter Coffee Collins.
Yeah. Lovely to be talking to you, Hannah. It's so nice to talk to you too. Oh, I'm happy to see you here. <laughs> <laughs> now, how did the cordial bring out the flavour of the Johnny Walker Black Label? So the cordial that um, that Rowan made was it was it was made with a lactic acid, so it was so lovely and smooth on the mouth, which was a real achievement, I think. Right. There was notes of coffee and sandalwood, which could have, for us, could have been a tiny bit punchier, but the overall flavour, how it matched in with the whiskey, was fantastic. Nice. Did it come yeah. as a bit of a surprise for you, the, the yeah, taste? Yeah, well, the, the creaminess of it, yeah, for sure, where, with, that, with that kind of, he based it around a milk uh, filter coffee, okay. which is really interesting. Yeah, All it's right, great. nice. nice. Mm. Thank you so <laughs> much for chatting to me. I'll speak to you in a bit. Yeah, I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> Our next bartender is from the United Arab Emirates, Dodi Dwe Prakaso. Dodi was born and raised in Indonesia, where he began his career within hospitality. Seeking out new and exciting challenges, he decided to make the move to Dubai, a city known for its flair and exquisite hospitality industry. He currently works at Cela V Dubai, where he is a bar supervisor. Let me tell you a quick story of Dubai. Growing rapidly become the pearl diving industry. Inspired me to make hidden pearl highball. Dubai just like, it's growing, it's moving forward. Four corner of the world from four corner of Scotland. Arabian sea spice, cordial, made from seaweed, green tea, Arabian spice, green apple for the fruitiness, sparkle. Get the of the highball into my glass. My highball, I keep it simple with the notes of the green tea and the seaweed in the end. Aroma, some lemon. Hidden pearl, celebrate the pearl diving industry of Dubai. So, Julia, I've never had seaweed in a drink before. How was it? It was different. Okay. It, it, was, it was working really well uh, with the drink. It was giving a flair, a little bit of savouriness. Mm. It was working well with the cinnamon and the lemon, with the finish of mint. It was surprisingly uh, um, a discovery. Okay, yeah. it, I, I'm, I'm really surprised, you know, that's like a shock ingredient for someone like me. When I hear seaweed, I think of like sea moss, you know, like for health yeah, yeah, benefits yeah, yeah, yeah. as well. Did it taste like the ocean at all? Did it taste a little bit like the ocean? Yes, indeed. <laughs> it tastes like an ocean, um, let's say an ocean on a Christmas day. Oh, okay. Because oh, of with the, the cinnamon. cinnamon. Oh, yeah, yes. nice. Love that. Uh, really fresh. Okay, so, nice. Yeah. Uh, yeah, surprisingly, I got... Um, curious about the seaweed as well, mm -hmm. and uh, I can say they it worked. Okay, thank you so much, Julia. Thank you. I'll chat to you in a bit. <laughs> Up next from Austria, we have Benjamin Eben Bauer. Benjamin was born and raised in Vienna, and it's still his home. While studying life science and biotechnology at university, Benjamin started working in a molecular biology lab as a technician, but decided that just wasn't the career for him. He wanted to do something he felt passionate about. Benjamin is now the head bartender in Vienna's cozy, classy Joseph Cocktail Bar, and he continues to challenge himself with experimentation and cocktail creation. Our world is getting faster and faster day by day. Time for friends and family tends to get rare. We want everything immediately without having to sacrifice quality. And because of that, we forget to enjoy ourselves. I want you to stop, sit back and relax. The highball is the answer to an ever-increasing demand for quick yet delicious cocktails. Taking inspiration from Vienna's Naschmarkt, where you can find fresh herbs, spices and fruits from local farmers. Combining plums with raspberries will give you a fruity bouquet with deep red fruit tones that pair nicely with the bitterness of the cinnamon. A spicy finish with ginger rounds off the drink, leaving you with the perfect market highball.
Now, the judges are ready, and we're with Hannah again. Hello. So, <laughs> Hannah, I need to know, this okay. is a very important question. Go on. Did the smooth voice match the drink? Ah, it definitely <laughs> did. It's weird not seeing the face on the video, but have, running it like this is just such an amazing opportunity to actually see into someone else's city. Mm. Obviously, if we were under normal circumstances, we would never get the chance to do that. So True. to see that little piece of VT of like to go through the streets and the market, that was really fun. Yeah, that's a really good way of looking at yeah, it. Actually. Silver linings. Absolutely. Thank you, Hannah. <laughs> Pleasure. <laughs> Our next bartender ready to step up is Jory Devart from Belgium. Jory started his working career in an IT company, but always had a continuous urge to travel, don't we all? He wanted a job that would allow him to work his way around the globe and so found his way onto a bartender course. After landing a job with former world-class Belgium winner, Jürgen Nobles, he noticed the career opportunities the industry presented, went all in on the craft and forgot about traveling. Now, five years later, Jory's path has led him to participating in the world-class event and winning the 2021 Belgian finals. Hi, I'm Yuri Devak from Belgium and this is my city, Kent. I base my cocktail on the Kent altarpiece residing in the St. Bavre Cathedral incorporating some of the more than 70 herbs and fruits depicted in the painting. The Van Eyck brothers were the first painters to render herbs in their natural way. I forged red currants, marigold, wild chamomile, pine and laurel from the botanical garden located next to the cathedral. My drink is a timeless rendition of Ghent cultural history and the flora that are still growing in my city to this day. Jolly Walker Black Label, my forged cordial, red currant juice, and soda. This is my hidden city highball, past and present. Now, as the judges discuss, we have a very special sneak peek at the new Johnny Walker home in Edinburgh, opening later this summer. So Julia is with me right now to chat. Julia. Hello. <laughs> Great story around this one. Yeah. Um, what effect did the blend of herbs have on this highball? So he, he really highlighted the um, uh, Johnny Walker Black Label. Mm -hmm. And um, you can feel that he's been put some thoughts in it. And uh, you can recognize the city and where it comes from and that really link to the story. Okay, when I hear blend of herbs, I think like a pizza or, you know, I think of something savory. Did he like make it sweet? Is it like a savory taste or something? No, he went on the, on the sweet side. Oh, nice. But he did work well. Oh, okay, lovely. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Next up, our globe trotting continues as we head towards the Czech Republic to meet Anna Postnikova, originally from Moscow. Anna grew up in the Czech Republic after relocating with her family. She began her hospitality career in a speciality coffee shop. She developed an interest in photography and started capturing images in cocktail bars across the city. Now, she probably really liked what she saw because from there, she began working as a bar back and later Later, a bartender at Anonymous Bar in Prague. She then moved to Le Fleur Bar, renowned for its incredible cocktail creations, where she now continues to work. Let's see what Anna's Hidden City Highball is all about.
The old city highball is inspired by the center of my hometown, Prague. The main ingredients of my cordial is a liquid from fermented red cabbage, which is one of the most popular side dishes of almost all Czech food. I combine it with spices which are used to finish it, and of course, almost all this food you enjoy with a glass of cold beer. The beer and whiskey have similar ingredients at the entrance, which is barley, water and yeast. While you enjoy your food with your cold beer or some cocktail, you can look at the Old Town Square and you see the astronomical clock, and the shape of it resembles to the Johnny Walker Black Label bottle. Please enjoy your drink. Cheers. We are back to Anna's Highball and our judge, Hannah. Hello. Hi. <laughs> so I need to know, you okay. know, because Anna did say that it's got similar ingredients to a beer. Is it a great replacement for a beer? I mean, look, let's be clear. Nothing is a great replacement for a beer. Fair that enough. was a really, really delicious drink. Okay, yeah. fair enough. Yeah, it was we good. get it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Understandable. <laughs> How was the red cabbage? Yeah, the red cabbage was fantastic. Actually, we both said we were really hoping that the kind of the bite would come through because mm. it's a really unusual ingredient. Yeah, the colour it almost could have been hibiscus to come right. through, because, but it's that red cabbage that sort of goes purple. Yeah, yeah. The colour was amazing, but it was. Yeah, it was like tangy, bitey. Good job. She right. did really well. Yeah. Nice. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Our next bartender is Jao Sanchiera from Portugal. Here is world class global cocktailian Lauren Motes to introduce him. Just like John Walker, I grew up on a farm surrounded by freshness on every turn. My own Caldas de Rinha is the seedbed to Rocha Pear, only grown here in the west of Portugal. It is our proud and loved heritage, and so is lemon verbena, with the delicious smell that fills up the air with the citrusy and fresh aroma. It is a real delight to pass by. It really makes you stop to smell the roses, so to speak. Just like John, fate pulled me away from the farming life. And nowadays, my journey is to blend flavors to create memorable experiences. And so, I bring you the flavors and aromas of my town for all the world to experience. Expressed by Russia Pear and Lemon Verbena Cordial, married with Johnny Walker Black Label in the delicious eyeball. My name is John Sushara. This is the Colors Eyeball. This is my journey, and I will keep on walking. Do this. Ah, nice. Oh yeah, it's lovely, isn't it, that? No, there's definitely, it's just, yeah. Well, that white fruit, you can really, but it is apple -y. It is apple yeah. An apple pear. <laughs> <laughs> so, Julia. Hello. Did Jao make the correct career choice in life? I believe he did. Yeah? I believe he did, yeah. And he also brought us to Portugal with yeah. his drink. Nice. Okay, good. So just in case he was wondering, we're glad that we got that confirmation from you. <laughs> Thank, <laughs> Thank you. you. <laughs> Hello and welcome back. Taste of the Future looks terrific. When we finish today, I'm going to go onto the virtual space on the World Class website to check out the innovators DRGO Futures are working with. But wow, what a morning it's been. Hannah and Julia have done their time at the live feed table, and we now have two new judges joining us, Agal Porone and Hannah Lanfair. Over to Lauren Mo to introduce them. Ago Perone is the director of mixology at London's iconic Connaught Bar, and he's one of the world's leading and most respected mixologists. 
known for having revolutionized the hotel bar scene by introducing creative and gourmet cocktails in the classic style service of the Connaught, Ago has received prestigious awards, including the 2006 Class Magazine UK Bartender of the Year and Tales of the Cocktail International Bartender of the Year in 2010. His unique approach to hospitality, coupled with his extensive knowledge of the industry, has helped the Connaught Bar gain its international acclaim alongside the hearing legend of the list accolade at the world's 50 best bars in 2018. In 2020, the Connaught Bar was awarded the number one spot in the world's 50 best bars. Hannah Lanfear is the director of The Mixing Glass and provides internationally recognized spirits education, research, and beverage solutions to the hospitality industry. Clocking in at 20 years of service to the cocktail and spirits industry, Hannah has managed and trained bar teams at Milk and Honey, Bungalow 8, and Boysdale, passing down her skills from her mentors to her mentees. Hannah has written articles for many industry press and publications, including Imbibe, Bar Life, Class, Drinks World Asia, Standard, and Kampai. She was also a member of the Tanqueray 10 Martini Guild, winner of the London Heat of Bartender Mastermind and Givine's Gin Connoisseurs Program World Finalist in 2013. on the nose. And I guess that a bay leaf wasn't what they planned because it was a stalk eucalyptus, but nonetheless, the herbaceousness of it really works well with the fruitiness, I think. Yeah. It's tasty. I really like the design. Super playful. It really matches well the video. Yeah. The concept of the cocktail. Yeah, good job. And now I have Ago Perone with me right now. Did I say it right? Very and right. And I did the hand movement as well. You're getting very much Italian. I'm, well done. I'm basically Italian now. I can see that. Very good. <laughs> very good. I can hear. So which flavours really stood out for you on that last one? I think the, the last drink that we taste is, uh, is, is a very complex and uh, friendly combination of aromas. Okay. So you got herbaceousness, you got fruitiness, uh, you got, of course, the, the body of uh, Johnny Walker that uh, support all the rest of, uh, of the cocktail. Okay. And I think uh, that... Uh, the the um, the brightness in flavor is reflected as well uh, in the drink and uh, in the video, which was very inter interactive, colorful. So, yeah, yeah the, it, the it overall really experience was. of this cocktail is very much uh, taking you into the head and the thinking process and inspiration process of the bartender. Yeah, so interesting, yeah. right? The, we know him now, just from that drink. Exactly. <laughs> Let's go for a drink. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Aga. Pleasure. I'll speak to you in a bit. Looking forward. <laughs> Our next bartender is Matteo Moscatelli from Switzerland. Lauren, tell us about Matteo. Representing Switzerland, Matteo Moscatelli. Matteo is an Italian native who studied chemistry and microbiology while at university in Italy. 
He has since lived in London, where he worked with some of the best bartenders in the industry and developed his love for cocktail creation. Since leaving London, Matteo has been working at the Witter Bar, a world-renowned bar in Zurich. Working side by side with Wolfgang Meyer, he has developed his skills and represents Switzerland in this year's world-class finals. Good day, welcome to Switzerland. I am Matteo Moscatelli and I'm the World Class Winner Switzerland 2021. Johnny Walker Talent asked us to show you the hidden places of our own country. And well, in my case, what can I say? There are not too many hidden places. Or they are, but they are in plain sight. We got beautiful cows providing us beautiful milk. We got our own berries, raspberries and strawberries. Does it ring a bell? We got our own vegetables, like tasty tomatoes. All that brought together by craftsmanship, just to give you, I hope, the best highball made with Johnny Walker of your life. Welcome to Switzerland. And it's nice, it has that softness. Oh, the design is super cool. For me, that's still a highball. You know, it's got like the whiskey soda coming Element, through. Uh, you know, sometimes you take the acid a bit far and suddenly it's more like a mm -hmm. Collins. But it's still like whiskey soda, which I like. Crushable. Refreshing. <laughs> refreshing is better than crushable. Yeah. <laughs> no, refreshing and fruity with the body. I can see myself drinking it all. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe More than one. Yeah, definitely. Because Switzerland is close to Italy, so remind yeah. me home. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's so nice. And we're back. And welcome to the floor, Hannah. Hello. How are you doing? I'm good, thank you. What I need to know is, did this last cocktail transport you to Switzerland? Do you know what? I really enjoyed it. I, I loved the interplay between strawberry and black pepper. It's an absolute classic combination mm. that we all know. But then there was this lovely cherry tomato note that kind of brought a vegetal element to it. And my favourite thing about it was that you could taste each element in the drink. And yeah, I did feel like a bit of me was travelling to Switzerland with each sip. Yeah, he actually spoke about each of those ingredients in his um, video as well. I wasn't mm -hmm. sure that he'd actually put it in the cocktail. Yeah, no, Amazing. it was good. Yeah, lovely lactic finish. We really liked it. Okay, nice. Thank mm. you, Hannah. Thank you. <laughs> From Switzerland, we travel 9,000 kilometres to the Indian Ocean to meet our next bartender, Michael Angeli. Representing the Indian Ocean, Michael Angeli. Michael, originally from Reunion Island, only began his bartending career in the last few years. During a bout of traveling, he found himself working at a number of bars, and this is where his passion was born. He developed his knowledge by training as a bartender and then improved his skills under the guidance of the best bartenders back on the island. Salut, je suis Michael Angeli. Je représente l'océan Indien lors de cette finale World Class et je viens de l'île de la Réunion. Mon île ne doit pas forcément parler à beaucoup d'entre vous, mais je vais quand même essayer de vous l'expliquer en trois mots à travers mon cocktail Highball Johnny Walker Black Label. Le premier mot qui me vient à l'esprit est tropical, par l'ananas Victoria, un des meilleurs du monde qui contient au moins 40% de sucre, ou encore le coco, qui transporte à merveille les arômes de fumée. Le deuxième mot est unique, unique par les épices que j'y introduis, telles la vanille bleue, une des meilleures vanilles du monde qui me rappelle les arômes liés au vieillissement ou encore l'orchidée sauvage avec ses notes florales. Le troisième mot est voyage, car toutes les saveurs que vous retrouverez en goûtant mon Eyeball vous feront découvrir la merveilleuse palette aromatique qu'offre le Johnny Walker Black Label et vous se transporterons enfin jusque là. Cheers!
So, Ago, thank you so much for joining me again. It's my pleasure, Joella. It's oh. my pleasure. Oh, thank you. I'm really curious about this one. How did the local pineapple taste with the smoke in the Johnny Walker? I think uh, what we have in the glass at the moment mm. is uh, a cocktail that really transports you with the imagination to exotic places, right. to Oceania. So you have uh, the fruitiness of the pineapple with a little bit of the acidity and the smokiness that, you know, they are kind of the flavor which are in contrast to each other. Mm -hmm. But because of the vanilla and the spicy also, which are in the middle, yeah. um, he managed to make a very well balanced cocktail with an interesting aroma, a long lasting uh, aftertaste. Mm. But really with the imagination, you want to travel there to go yeah. into on the beach and, uh, yeah. and enjoy his cocktail in his bar. I mean, yeah, I mean, really, it's hot right now. Yeah. The sun's shining down on us. We're on the beach. Yeah, it's fantastic We've got sand Look between that, our yeah. toes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we can only hope. <laughs> yeah. We need to use the imagination. True, right? true. That's, That's how you key. create fantastic cocktails. Yes, yeah. you're right. <laughs> Thank you, Agro. Thank you, Bella. Thank you. <laughs> we now travel a mammoth 18,000 miles and go from Reunion to Mexico, where we'll meet Jose Luis Leon Martinez. Representing Mexico, Jose Luis Leon Martinez. Jose started working in his career in the service industry after obtaining a degree in tourism. After 14 years, he decided to try his hand at bartending and has since been positioned as one of the best bartenders in Mexico. He's previously qualified for the 2010 World Class Finals. He's also the current owner of La Coria Limontour, a world-renowned cocktail bar that has remained on the top 50 bars list in the world since 2014. Jose has spent the last number of years traveling the world, visiting 34 countries and bartending in some of the best bars in the world. La Ciudad de México es un ente multifacético que de la misma manera que Johnny Walker nunca se detiene. Los colores vibrantes, los sabores profundos y picantes y la complejidad de tanta gente conviviendo y viviendo me inspiraron para crear este highball. Ese trago es un homenaje a lo casual, a la tradición, a lo elegante pero divertido, al balance y a la gente que sale a trabajar a la calle día a día. Es para mí también una intención, una emoción, es una canción de mariachi al mediodía y prácticamente es un vaso de fruta con chile y limón. Espero que cuando lo beban, se sientan un poco más cerca de México. Salud. Um, I love the habanero. The mango is a little subtle, but... To give the think. fruity body. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'm into it. I like it. And again, clear cocktail, yeah. light. I'm drinking it. I'm not tasting it, I'm drinking it, which is always a good sign, I think. Design simple, but it's nice. And actually, you know, it would work well, commercially speaking. Nice and bright. What do you think? I like the branding as well. It's uh, simple as the drink, but of impact. Yeah, huh? yeah, yeah, yeah. Tells you what you're going to get. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. You know, Johnny Walker is there. There is the presence, but it's not obvious. As you said before, it's, a, it's a, like a whiskey and soda but with more complexity more aroma which make it more interesting yeah and i think you know the habanero it kind of works well with that you know cereals are grasses anyway so mm. it's bringing out the cereal note in mm. a very different way but i like it because the habanero is very sharp it stays just in the middle it's not a chili, if it's well done, well, uh, well uh, utilized, it doesn't take you too much, it stays there. Yes. So it gives you almost this sense of freshness. 
that is already given by the, the, the citric acid and, uh, and the other acid, but actually almost cover them to don't make them too, too overpowering. Mm. The, uh, the mango is there in the finish, you know, it's like so subtle, but resonates right mm -hmm. at the end. Yeah, I like it. The citric acid is playing quite well with the habanero as well, yeah, making yeah. it pop a bit. They go together. Yeah. They go nicely together. Because yeah. sometimes the citric acid are too, as we experience in other drink, maybe they're too overpowering, they're too there and doesn't allow you to, to enjoy the body of the cocktail. And what's the name of that um, spicy, sour? Tahin. Yeah, tahin, that's it. It has, it's red yeah, redolent yeah, yeah. of that, yeah. Hannah. Hi. Welcome back. Thanks. <laughs> How did Jose manage to balance all those powerful flavors? Do you know what? It was like a love letter to Mexico City. Really right. strong flavors. And that's, you know, as we said, it was transportive. We felt like we were taken there. Um, yeah, it was fantastic. Like strong spicy notes mm. and really lovely mango notes. And actually what was really delightful about it was that the strong pepper, the vegetal pepper note, kind of came first right. and then was backed up by the mango, but with, mm. with this lovely like citric zippiness all the way through that really brought forth the jalapeno, it was great. Oh, that sounds amazing. It was great. Do you want to try? I would love to. <laughs> <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> Thank you, Hannah. You're welcome. <laughs> Uh, our next bartender is James Grant from Canada. James was born in Melbourne to a military family before spending his early years living throughout Canada. He eventually settled in Alberta where he studied English and creative writing at the university before going on to work in communications and public relations. He then moved to London where he began working behind the bar and quickly fell in love with the hospitality industry. James returned to Canada and has worked at some of the best bars in Alberta. He is always eager to care for those at his bar and more than happy to make them feel welcome. It's inspiring. That moment when a long hard winter gives way to spring. Knowing that soon we can leave our home after months inside and relish what life has to offer. It inspires a brighter spirit in those around us and it inspired my hidden city highball, the Pathfinder. Elevating the smoky fruit of Johnny Walker Black Label with the tropical, floral, and earthy flavors of spruce tip, lilac, and pine. These ingredients, foraged in the River Valley trails of Edmonton, reflect the beauty this land has to offer, just like Johnny Walker Black Label showcases flavors from across Scotland. A bright drink, it speaks to the excitement and the optimism of finally entering a new season. It's a drink to share with friends, a drink to raise in celebration, to celebrate getting back out into the world, and to experience what's been missing. So let's go. We've waited long enough. I go. A, oh. a great presentation. Did this highball take you to the great outdoors? I was going to ask you, have you been in Canada? No. No. So you should have a sip of this highball because I think uh, what, uh, what is encapsulated in the, gra in the glass is really this uh, vegetal, piney, resin aroma that you no. get you get in Canada, definitely. Oh. Oh my God. So all I need to do is drink these cocktails exactly. and then I'm touring the world. And you travel, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's, a, that's a bartender job, make uh, people travel yeah. in, a liquid, uh, in a liquid history. Yeah, and then make me want to go to Canada exactly. after having that. Yes, yeah. Amazing. I think it's a very well-balanced drink and uh, all the, the flavour, they transpire very nicely. And uh, the garnish, we were saying with Anna, the garnish is a very good touch because uh, also elevate all the aromas which are in the drinks. Nice, the amazing. Drink, yeah. Thank you, Agar. Pleasure. <laughs> Our next bartender is 26-year-old Ricardo Rojas from Panama. 
Ricardo is a lover of music and cocktails. He sounds a bit like me. He started his career in hospitality after graduating from school. He began bartending as a hobby and now is a passionate mixologist, continually learning and challenging himself to come up with new and exciting serves for his guests. Take it away, Ricardo. Mi nombre es Ricardo Rojas de Panamá y quiero mostrarles de dónde vengo. Fundada en 1550, siendo sus primeros habitantes indígenas provenientes de Perú y Venezuela, quienes habían llegado al Istmo de Panamá. Hablamos de mi lugar de origen, Chorrera, un lugar de tierras fértiles que da excelentes cosechas, siendo la mejor de estas, la piña. Así como cardúa el corazón de Johnny Walker, la piña es el corazón de la gastronomía chorrerana. Contamos con uno de los mercados de abasto más grandes de Panamá, donde pude conseguir esa parte cítrica con nuestra naranja criolla nacional y, por supuesto, ese toque picante caribeño con nuestro jichombo, el cual fue descubierto por los españoles, específicamente por Cristóbal Colón, al cual le parece fascinante y decide darlo a conocer en toda Europa. Con esto, uno la herencia que me deja mi tierra natal chorrera a mis mercados locales y, por supuesto, los 200 años de legado de Johnny Walker. ¿Quién se anima a probar? El corazón de Chorrera. Remember Habana? Thank you. Easy. I like habaneros, so they're one of my favorites. Yeah, if Do you, you get the clothes? If you use it wisely. If you use it wisely. If you don't mix it for like uh, a tomato in a Caribbean dish, and you eat it like it was a tomato, mm. <laughs> you will remember for a long time. I'm a drink is here. Quite a big fan of spicy me. Very pleasant. Mm, fruity, nice. Yeah. It seems like he had a thought then. You feel it? You really feel as well the Caribbean orange. He's used some clove in the cordial. Yeah, be a war warm spice. Which is nice actually, because it's not always that easy to get orange to taste orangey, you know, it's... Without being obvious. Mm. Yeah, nice, really aromatic. S aromatic citrus oils. The whiskey is there. Maybe you can, you know. Is it, this any clarification? Doesn't look like, you know. I could see me cordial. at a beach bar just drinking more than one of these mm -hmm. very happily. It's a pina colada like. No? Mm. Easy, pleasant. You can have uh, more than one. Which is a mark of a great cocktail, I think, where one is not enough. You can revisit those mm. flavors and it's not tiring on the palate. I think this achieves that very well. The more you drink it, the more you feel the, the single ingredients together, the pineapple, the orange, the cloves, the whiskey. Mm. And the habanero is there in the middle to yeah. cut it through. The cloves are making, making like it too. Otherwise, it would be too obvious, no? Kind of combination. But the cloves the habanero, they give more uh, interesting aroma and complexity. The cloves make a quite nice warming spice. That mm -hmm. You can feel it here. It's starting to persist. It's really lovely. So, Hannah. Hello. So Ricardo put chili in that cocktail and I must say I'm a fan of all things chili in my food, in my drinks, everywhere, right? But I know sometimes it could get a bit wild. What were the levels on this one? Do you know what? It was actually a really delicate spice and we've had a couple of cocktails that had habanero in. Um, I've really enjoyed them both. This one was super delicate in the background, but there was a lovely interplay of like warming clove spice, which really brought the eugenols out of the wood. It, yeah, it was really nice. It accented the whiskey, so yeah. it was delicious. 
Lovely. You guys are really making me want to try out these cocktails now. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> And so we've reached the end of the Johnny Walker challenge. So that's it for our Hidden City High Balls. It's been a wonderful morning, I must say. I mean, I feel like I've traveled the world. I've done a whole tour. We've certainly seen a good many of the world's flavors. Australia is home to the oldest foods on the face of the planet. These herbs and, and plants can be found all over the city of Sydney. Getting out in nature and reconnecting with that knowledge is invigorating. It provides a connectedness with nature that you often take for granted or you don't necessarily make time for in your life. We'll go for a wander and find anything from passion fruit marigold through to lemon scented bottle brush, which literally grows out of the cracks on the side of the street. Strawberry gum, even paper bark, is coveted by bars and restaurants, but we walk past it every single day. All of these things get transported back to the bar where we use them every day, when they're bright, when they're fresh. Given the history attached, I think it's important that we all experience these ingredients, and that's why I've chosen to use them. Australia has such a long and definite cultural history behind it, and to be able to share that in liquid form is an amazing opportunity and something I'm really proud of. Hi guys! I am from Kyushu. There are many fruits of Nangoku. There are many fruits of Nangoku and Japan. Today, I am going to come to the beach of Kyushu on the beach of Kyushu. I am going to Kyushu Island Highball. The ingredients are pineapple, lemon grass, kibizato, hojicha, fennel flower, これを発酵させてできたシロップでコーディアルシロップを作りました味の特徴は最初にパイナップルやレモングラスの香りがきて次にほうじ茶の香ばしい香りがきて最後の余韻でジョニーウォーカーの香りがくるように作っています皆さんにもこのカクテルを飲んでもらって九州旅行を味わっていただきたいですチェアス안녕난코리아파이널리스트제이야옛날에우연하게마라톤에참가한적이있었는데그경험과조니어커블랙의영감을받아나만의히든스키하이브를만들어보았어이조니어커의심볼인이스트라이딩맨처럼킵워킹하자는의미를담아보았고현재의팬데믹시대를살아가는모두에게지치지말고계속해서달려나아가자는컨셉이야이마라톤에는페이스메이커라는사람들이있는데이상위권의선수들의사람들에게에너지를더해주는사람을뜻해선수들이계속해서앞으로나아갈수있게도와주는거지내가선택한도시는나의어릴적추억이담겨있는어머님의고향인나주시티를골랐어우리나라에서배생산율이가장높으면서도유일한배박물관이있는도시이기도해나주의특산물인배를메인으로나만의코디어를만들어보았고우리바텐더들은많은사람들에게에너지와즐거움을줄수있는직업이라고생각해우리모두는누군가에겐꼭필요한페이스메이커가될수도있다는걸인지하고나의하이브를마셔주길바래
By July 2021, there are 7.5 million people living in Hong Kong, 7,140 people per square kilometer. Question, what is your chance to hide here? Answer, 10 of 10. Extremely high population gave birth to a dramatically high number of different venues. By the end of 2019, before the pandemic, we had 15,500 operating restaurants. But if you're not local, you won't be able to enjoy the most common of them, those that don't have lettuce in the menu, do free flow pu'er tea with a lady pulling a food trolley between the tables. Hong Kongers made their choice for a dim sum. Lin Yang Bao, Siu Mai, Ha Gao, Lo Mai Ga. Appearance, atmosphere and flavors of this dim sum place were transferred to my highball creation by Johnny Walker Black Label, Pu Air Tea and the glutinous rice vinegar. Please enjoy a reflection of my personal experience of Hong Kong dining culture, highball named Tou Lei, which means escape from the high density city life. Cheers! Hello everyone and welcome to beautiful Paxos, Greece. I am Nikos Ginargyros and through this video I will introduce to you the Walk Greek Way Highball based on Johnny Walker Black Label, the pinnacle of blended scotch. In order to highlight its citrus, dry spice and smoke notes, I used three exclusively Greek ingredients, recognized for their quality and flavor. For my soda I combined roasted rice milk from Evros to pair with smokiness. Greek saffron, crocos from Kozani to complement spiciness and kumquats from Paxos to amplify fruitiness. I created a balanced, refreshing drink that revives the spirit of Johnny Walker. Yamas! I don't have just one home time, I have two. My place of birth, Derry, and my adopted home, London. And I want to tell you the story about how these two places are linked. One of the many names my place of birth carries is Londonderry, named after the guilds and worshipful companies who came from London town and set up shop in Derry, helping to construct its historic city walls. For over 600 years, these guilds have assured the success of Britain's merchants, such as our own John Walker, whose Kilmarnock grocery store gave rise to Johnny Walker representing Hackney, which was the first place in London, indeed in the UK, to grow a pineapple. The sweet and sour tropical flavours worked perfectly with the light smoke finish of Johnny Walker Black. Serving as unusual bedfellows then, we have tomato and celery, a celebration of seasonal British produce delivering a delightful umami depth that juxtaposes the sweeter honey notes of Johnny Walker Black. Nutmeg combines with the aromatics of burnt banoffee pie and butterscotch in Johnny Walker Black and pays homage to my partner who is a member of the worshipful company of grocers. One of those ancient guilds from merry London town that connects my two homes, London and Derry. You're still here? Well, that means you held your own, you did your thing, and you kept walking through the storm. Now it's time we get back to those world class drinks. And I started with a Johnny Walker Black Label Hyper that is dedicated to all the workers in the bar industry around the world. I mixed it with a homemade cordial made with grapefruit, thyme, and honey. And I used these ingredients in order to embrace and emphasize the aromas in the Johnny Walker Black Label, which are caramel, vanilla, and the smokiness. It was actually about time that we got back in the bar and started thinking and making drinks that impress our guests. But you know what? This one is for you, for every one of you. I'm Andra Dragan and I represent Romania in the Diageo World Class Competition 2021. And this is Time Walker.
In the 18th century, Amsterdam was the center of Europe and products from all over the world were traded here. And as a result of companies like Jacob Hoy & Co, which has traded in herbs and spices since 1743, licorice became a huge part of Dutch culture. While licorice is growing further afield, if you look a little closer, Amsterdam is a hive of hidden ingredients. This cordial combines licorice root with Dutch blackberries and forage fig leaves. The creamy coconut notes of fig leaf bring out the underlying herbal tones of Johnny Walker Black Label, while the tart blackberries stretch its rich body into its characteristic smoke, finishing with the woody sweetness of licorice root. Ingredients that can be found during a leisurely stroll, if you're brave enough to tempt the Dutch summer. I'm Laura Brady, here from the Netherlands, and cheers from me and an hour of leisure. Más allá del ajetreo de la ciudad, existe un lugar en el cual todos nos podemos refugiar, sentirnos seguros, sentirnos libres, sentirnos conectados con la naturaleza, con sus aromas, texturas y colores, pero lo más importante, conectarnos con nuestra fuerza interior, la misma que vive en cada árbol dentro del bosque escondido en el estruendo de la ciudad. Dejemos que la fuerza de la tierra y la madera nos inunden al igual que hace más de 200 años le pasó a George Walken, y que en estos momentos difíciles es cuando más debemos demostrarla. Inspirémonos en las hierbas de nuestros bosques, en el agua de la niebla, en su fortaleza para estar vivos pese a las inclemencias del pasar del tiempo. Seamos fuertes y tengamos alma de robo. Hi, my name is Konrad, I'm from Poland and currently I'm living in Colombia. Thanks to Bartening, I had the opportunity to travel and explore different cities and its flavors. I've lived in Ibiza, London, Copenhagen, Barcelona, and finally, Bogota, the capital of Colombia. You see, Bogota has very particular climate. It can be sunny all day, and the moment you go outside, it's pouring rain all of the sudden. The evenings are quite cold as well. The traditional solution for cold is agua panela, warm drink, based on cane sugar with cheese. Very particular yet comforting combination of sweet and savory flavors. So inspired by those flavors, I made a highball with Johnny Walker Black, distilled panela, a bit of chocolate bitters, and a touch of carbonation. Paired with cacao nibs and grana parano cheese, which perfectly matches the fruity flavors of an warming smoky finish of Johnny Walker Black. And that's the walking in the rain. Hi, Ty Ball. My name is Fernando Rodriguez, but please call me Fercho. Saber que Costa Rica fue el primer socio comercial de Johnny Walker en Centroamérica en 1920 me llena de orgullo y junto con el progreso de mi ciudad actual, Tamarindo, me inspira. Una ciudad que hace unos cuantos años era un pequeño pueblo y hoy es uno de los principales focos turísticos y culturales de mi país, el lugar donde se encuentran los mundos. Tal y como las mareas bajas y altas representan el fin de un ciclo y el comienzo de uno mejor. En mi highball va a encontrar un cordial de ingredientes locales como la juanilama, cúrcuma orgánica, coco tostado, limón y miel con propóleo. En cada burbuja encontrarán también la pasión de cada una de las personas que hacen crecer a Tamarindo, que caminan tranquilos y erguidos, siempre es el futuro. Keep walking.
No tengo historia escrita, pero sí tengo un concepto creado. Le presento Memories. Le estoy rindiendo un tributo a aquellos maestros soberos quienes hace más de 40 años se ganaban la vida intercambiando soda en sifón. Retornable para sobrevivir. Gracias a la gran mezcla de whisky de malta y de grano que posee Johnny Walker Black Label, he podido realizar una combinación de sabores en el paladar que hace curioso e interesante a este cóctel. Utilizando producto local como la piña, hace que este cóctel sea fácil de replicar. Este cóctel representa tanto mi cultura, somos el clima, la comida, el calor y el mestizaje, la música y su color. También hacemos referencia a la forma como vivimos para celebrar con este cóctel. Soy Lisander Lara, ganador de World Class 2021 para República Dominicana. Te invito a que puedas vivir la experiencia con Memories. Es un cóctel que hace referencia a recordar aquellos momentos vividos y compartidos en la vida. English in the Celtic society, tradition of settlement become a hidden city, but it's still the collective memory and the faith of Taiwanese. It's the symbol of a contrary beginning and a continuity, and also the human words. So Taiwan is very different from other society. I decide to create a culture filled with word ingredients about human. And I believe the human words is also the main idea of Johnny Walker Black Label. With the world, we are full of the power to keep working forever. Just like Taiwanese keep passing the fake down from one generation to the next. In this pandemic, we cannot lose our culture and the words from the bottom of the heart. Always follow the journey worker. Keep words and keep working. Copenhagen, the capital of Denmark, has developed from a small harbour city into a modern metropole. Yet one thing has remained the same, Tivoli Gardens, hidden in the very centre of the city. Opening the gates in 1844, the garden arranged with beautiful flowers and entertainment remains the oldest amusement park in the world, even inspiring Walt to Disney to create Disney World. Take a long stride in Tivoli Gardens and all your senses are stimulated. You cannot help feel nostalgic, despite you've never been here before. That powerful fairy tale feeling of being transported into another time is the experience I want my drink to give. From the magical gardens of Tivoli, tea is made from roses combined with grass, but in this case from barley and wheat, a mix of grains just like Black Label. A steep, capturing the smell of popcorn and the taste of candied apples. All blended together as Johnny Walker himself would do. Carbonated and served tall, like the magic towers in Tivoli, finished with a tiny touch of childhood memory. I give to you, once upon a highball, Skull.
When I think of the culture and flavour of Dublin City, I look across the River Liffey to the home of Guinness. The sweet roasted barley aroma from this icon blankets the city on brewing days. I often wondered if this magical aroma made its way into the local flora. And by turn, did the bees bring it onto their honey? This is the inspiration for my hidden city highball. A combination of barley water, raw honey, and the umami of Irish kombu seaweed. I've named it Two Giants, from Irish folklore, in which an Irish giant built the Giant's Causeway in order to meet a Scottish giant. Maybe to share a Guinness and a Johnny Walker. Beginning with a sweet burst of raw honey and light sea salt, flowing into the toffee, coffee and roasted flavours of the barley water. Finishing with the rich caramel and earthy tones of Johnny Walker. The highball meets the Boilermaker. Welcome to Wood, city that grown, develop, almost die and rebirth from the scratch and still keep walking. Thanks to the founding fathers, fabricants Maverick, which has become a capital of textile industry just before World War. Till 90s, the true symbol of the city was a red brick, constituting power of hard work and constant evolution. End of communist regime was a harsh time for citizens of the city. Collapse of factories and waves of unemployment turns Wuj into a sad and dark place to live. Nowadays, Wuj became a blend of classic architecture, modern business, youth, energy and art. And I mean a lot of street art. Right now, I would like to raise a toast of salute to all of founding fathers with the Royce. Cheers to the Wuj and the next step. Johnny Walker, an icon, a symbol, an inspiration. Keep walking and you'll discover what you haven't expected. Open your eyes and you'll see the well-kept secrets of this town. Go across iconic places of Bratislava and take a moment to feel the spirit of the old, the noble, the provocative, and enjoy the sophisticated hidden city highball. Express the essence of Johnny Walker with your friends. Experience the journey. Keep walking and watching. The time is now. Modica in italiano e muerga in siciliano. Modica, the city of hundred churches with its baroque style and chocolate. Welcome to Bonaiuto, where the sea has its impact on flavors. A place where innovation meets tradition. 30 mils of Johnny Walker Black, 30 mils of Modica Cordial, stir 90 mils of soda water, garnish with sea fennel and capers chocolate.
Hey, welcome to Ukraine and welcome to my hometown, Lviv. My name is Andri, and to showcase the flavors of my hometown, I have created a tasty Johnny Walker highball with coffee and cherry cordial that is also reflects the culture and the flavors of my city. So the aroma of coffee fills the streets. It's just in the air. So Lviv is the coffee capital of Ukraine. Meanwhile, the surrounding nature here is filled with excellent produce, including cherries, of which Ukraine is the world's third biggest producer. But with the ratio, one part of Johnny Walker Black and one part of Cordell sounds like we have too much sugar in our drink. So respecting the premium whiskey, I have used different types of sugar that is way sweeter than the sugar which we use in Ukraine, bitter sugar. That's why we need to add less. Plus, additionally, I have added apple cider vinegar as an acid and a preservative. So while consuming the drink, your body starts to produce more enzymes and the vinegar's acetic acid breaks down the fat cells and converts them to the energy. So, I took two traditional local ingredients, coffee and cherries, added Johnny Walker Black Label, and a little bit of innovation, and we have delicious and refreshing Johnny Walker Highball that gives you a relaxation and a bit of energy. Cheers. So just 10 minutes outside of Stockholm, you can drink the water from a clean spring. That's sustainability. Welcome to Sweden. I hope you enjoy my Johnny Walker Whiskey Highball. My hidden city highball is inspired by local ingredients. I use corn which is a staple Kenyan food, and tea, which is our biggest and main export. I also incorporated some vinegar and citric acid to balance out the sugar in the cordial. To bring out the signature smoky notes of Johnny Walker Black Label in this highball, I smoked toasted coconut shavings and camphor bark. I was looking to not have overbearing smoky flavors. The corn really picks up the fruity notes in Johnny Walker Black Label. It's subtle and so is the chamomile tea. The Scots have, have given us Scotch whiskey, and in return, I have given them our main local ingredients. Cheers to my hidden city highball, the burning bell. Set awesome Jermaine, you are welcome to my city, Lagos City, energy city. To survive in Lagos, you need energy. So to represent my city in a cocktail, I've made a cocktail with this following indigenous ingredient: cola nut, alligator pepper, coffee. I mean, we all know what coffee does. So bringing together these three ingredients created with cordial to pair with Johnny Walker Black Label. Kukuruku, a wake up call. Lagos is a city that never sleeps. Lagos is a city that never give up, like Johnny Walker. Cheers.
Qué gusto verlos de nuevo. Mi nombre es Ángel Barrios, represento Guatemala y en esta ocasión les voy a preparar un highball a base de Johnny Walker de etiqueta negra. Nuestro cóctel es una representación a los 103 años de Johnny Walker en Guatemala y a la mezcla de diferentes culturas que contiene el país. Nuestro Johnny Walker será el encargado de darle el carácter a nuestro cóctel. Nuestro cordial base está dedicado al pueblo de Santa Rosa que es conocido como el centro de América. En dicho departamento existía la cultura Xinca, de la cual hace aproximadamente unos 20 años dejó de existir lo que es el lenguaje Xinca. En ese mismo lugar mi papá tenía una finca en la cual él producía diferentes tipos de frutos. Los ingredientes de nuestro cordial son piña, banano, tomillo, hojas de azahar y lemongrass. Son ingredientes muy frescos, muy representativos de la región y sobre todo de, del pueblo de Guatemala. Me siento honrado de compartir con ustedes uno de los muchos sabores que se encuentran en la tierra que me vio nacer. Estoy seguro que les va a encantar y espero volverlos a ver pronto. Dear family, my name is Bungo. I was born and raised in Saigon, where we welcome everyone around the world. If you have been to Saigon, you might know the Saigon River. Saigon is a busy and crowded city, but sometimes it has a deeply and lovely side. Saigon River is a culture and heritage of this mega city. Lies in there is a river around the water, and there is amazing food grow, especially coconut. Saigon doesn't wait for us, but we wait for it. Yeah, it's serenity in some time, but we love it in our way. Sit back and savor the complex flavor of a Johnny Walker Black Label, the whiskey which combo of more than 30 morning grain whiskey. The serenity cocktail has a complex flavor with a simple combination of a creaminess and saltiness. Saigon is always busy from morning to night, but sometimes we can find a serenity in the form of peace and quiet. Hello everyone, hello dear judges, welcome to Russia. My name is Artyom and I am bartender from Sochi. If you look at the map, you will find that the Sochi is the most northern city in the world with subtropic climate. We don't have winter, but we had winter Olympic games. Whoa, it's the uniqueness of the nature of my city I want to reflect in my special one highball. Okay, the base of my cocktail is Johnny Walker Black Label. Whiskey with great taste and great history. It's multi layered taste combined with woody notes of cane jam and uh, smoky notes of dried pear remind us the moment when whiskey was uh, dried on a pit block. Oh, another one, please don't forget to taste my cocktail with a garnish and cheers! Hi guys, it's Mika here with Plaque Label. 
My hidden city highball is a tribute for Helsinki spring when everything comes alive after the freezing cold winter. I have captured in the glass in front of you the true signs of our spring. Stinging nettles and cherry blossoms, dandelions and bee pollen, <laughs> and a bit of bearskin too. When the spring arrives, the people also become more bubbly and worry a little less. Maybe that's why we've been voted as the happiest country in the world for several years in a row. You could say life is just peachy here in Helsinki, and I'm sure you can taste that from the highball, thanks to the tribe's singing nettles. In my floral Johnny Walker Hidden City highball, the tropical and slightly smoky flavors of the Black Label are accompanied with Nordic exotic flavors, straight from the nature. Be bubbly, be real, be you. The people of Cologne always say, welcome to the most beautiful city in Germany. But when you visit Cologne, you soon realize they are not talking about the cityscape, they are talking about the people. And the people are proud of who they are, no matter who they are. Cologne is known as the capital of the LGBTQ scene and of course of the traditional carnival in Germany. We love to celebrate on every occasion with our own type of beer, the Kölsch. Like the German city name, Köln. Therefore, I used typical cold shops for my drink, which was originally made to fit the first Eau de Cologne invented in the 18th century. And the aromatics of the perfume never changed. Blood orange, bergamot and grapefruit also used in my drink. As you see, we are blending Cologne's typical aromatic notes, like Johnny Walker blends his quality whiskies in Scotland. I'm Marion and this is the Hope of Hops. Norway, 1845, in need of a city nearby the sawmills alongside the river of Namsen, the parliament decides to found the city of Namsos. The city center of an area now flowing of some of the best strawberries and dairy products in the world. But why was this city so important? Well, back in the days the lumberjacks would cut their logs and simply push them out in the river, float them down streams to Namsos, the fjord, and the ships ready to set out. The biggest problem, however, was logs getting stuck in each other. And the solution? Brave men armed with long spear-looking hooks to walk out and loosen them up. I present to you my hidden city highball, composing of Norwegian strawberries, butter, and infused with birchwood, in homage to, this, to the old culture of these fearless men called log runners, or flated, striding along the floating lumber. Cheers. Ben Burak Türkkan. İstanbul'da harika bir rooftop'tayım. Hidden City Highball Challenge için hazırladığım silantrofik highball kokteylimi anlatmak istiyorum. Topraksı aromaları elde etmek için kereviz kullandım. Keskin narenci aromalarıyla uyumlu olduğu için de korculuma kişniş ekledim. Kereviz ve kişnişin Türk mutfağında apayrı bir yeri var. Bu malzeme seçimleriyle de kokteylime daha yerel bir dokunuş yapmayı planlıyorum. Sitrik ve malik asitlerle zenginleştirilmiş sitrus stok limon korcalı kullanarak Black Label'ın içindeki tatlı meyve aromalarını daha da ön plana çıkarttım. Silantro kokteylime verdiğim ismin ilham kaynağı oldu. Nasıl ki filantropik kelimesi iyiliksever anlamına geliyorsa silantropik de kişisel severler için hazırladığım bir Black Label Highball kokteyli. Silantropik Highball ile Black Label'ın isli, tatlı meyvemsi, baharatlı aromalarını destekleyip farklı ve akılda kalıcı bir deneyim sunmayı planladım. Afiyet olsun.
Johnny Walker Black Label, Castizo Highball. Castizo as a word to describe something unique from a certain place, like the sangria, a wine-based summer fruity cocktail very popular in my city, which inspired me for creating this cocktail. My name is Luis, nice to meet you and welcome to Madrid. Look at the red, grape and peachy color. Look at the bubbles dancing up and down. Feel the cold and moisture. Listen to the bubbles carrying their scent to the top of the cocktail. Smell, spring, flowers, smokiness, fruit. Taste this blend of Johnny Walker Black Label with organic red grape juice, fresh local peaches and orange essential oil. How it enhances the fruity flavor profile of a whiskey. Love the texture driven by bubbles. Iberico ham, the king of Spanish hams, infused in this cordial to bring out saltiness and umami tastes. And lavender honey from the south of Madrid, bringing out delicate flower high notes from the flavor whiskey profile. Enjoy. For people in Argentina, life is about sharing with friends and family. Especially, we love sharing meals. And the most important meal for us is Sunday lunch. In every home, people get together for an asado or barbecue. It's almost a ritual in which everyone takes part. The one thing that ties all of the flavors of an asado is the chimichurri, a seasoning made with fresh herbs and spices that we put on the meat, vegetables, and everything else. It's something we learn from our parents and our grandparents. That's why I chose to make a chimi cordial to create a highball that would best reflect my culture. I use rosemary, basil, red pepper flakes, pink peppercorn, and lemon zest. This cordial is the heart of a highball I call Sunday Table, which yields an herbal and spicy cocktail that's a perfect pre-lunch drink. Now, more than ever, we have to keep walking and hope that the future brings many moments of joy and happiness to share with the people that we love. Olá, eu sou a Bianca Lima do Brasil e quero que vocês conheçam um pouco mais do meu país hoje. Mas um highball não precisa ser um coquetel simplório, há complexidade nas bolhas. A pitanga é uma fruta do Brasil pequena, mas cheia de sabor. Ela passeia entre o doce e o azedo com sua cor vermelho vibrante. E nas noites de lua cheia, os índios fazem um ritual de cura com galhos de pitangueira, porque as pequenas frutas avermelhadas sob a luz do luar brilham como pequenas luas. A rapadura é um doce brasileiro que é feito de melaço de cana, a mesma base da nossa cachaça. Costuma-se dizer que rapadura é doce, mas não é mole não, porque a vida aqui é boa, mas não é nada fácil. O cold brew foi feito com uma espécie de café brasileiro para trazer um after e mais complexidade para esse coquetel. Pirangá é um coquetel com origem indígena e notas de Johnny Walker Black Label. Pirangá tem um jeitinho diferente de ser raibo. Hello everyone, my name is Lady Sanchez and welcome to the Cayman Islands. Have you ever tried soursop? Well, soursop is a tropical fruit. It's green and spiny and has aromas similar to pineapple with flavors of a strawberry and apple with sour citrus contrasting with an underlayer thick creamy texture reminiscent of banana. The sour sob was widely venerated by the locals for its healing properties, and they used to believe there was a link between the sour sob tree and the original tree of the good and evil of the Garden of Eden. By the way, you know who Johnny Walker was? He was a man who walked around the world, to come from nothing and made something, and if this bottle could talk, he would tell us an extraordinary history about two centuries ago. They produced a big phenomenon in the world and the straight demand became the symbol of progress, the symbol of moving forward. If you stop, you drop. Cheers! Los Angeles is my city, 
It's a community full of dreamers, artists, sunshine, and good vibes. It's always 24 degrees here. It's a city that looks forward, not back. The strides we take today pull us all into a better tomorrow. Los Angeles is the city of angels. My Johnny Walker Angel City Highball is everything great about LA right in your glass. It starts with beautiful fresh citrus from our many farmers markets. To that, I added white sage, a plant native to California that grows wild on her hillsides and in neighborhoods across the city. And for that active SoCal lifestyle, instead of being sweetened by sugar, I've used vanilla and monk fruit, a sugar substitute that is so close to the real thing that you probably wouldn't have known if I hadn't told you. Johnny Walker's forward-thinking spirit fits right into the city of angels. It toasts the community that works behind her bars and strides forward with it. For the Angel City Highball is LA in your glass.